Hello, my name is John Gonzalez. I'd like to welcome you to Hairdressers Career Development Systems. Today we're going to talk about what to look for when you're choosing a new member to your team. The first thing I look for is fantastic appearance. Are we not in the business of making people look good and feel good about themselves? When that client walks through that door, they're going to form a positive or a negative first impression on your appearance alone. I would say that 60, 70 percent of all applicants that applied for a job in my salon were turned away on their appearance alone. You young people, make sure you look professional. I'm talking if you want to work in an upscale salon. If you want to be treated and compensated like a professional, then you've got to look and act like a professional. We are in the business of making people look good. Number two, a positive attitude. I'm always looking for positive people that truly want to grow. They always look for the good in life. Look for the good in their jobs. These are the kind of people are worth gold. Are they willing to take full responsibility for their own success or failure or always look or are they always looking for excuses to fail? This is a challenge that all salon owners face when they're selecting and adding a new member to the team. You have a moral responsibility to try to build a positive and professional salon environment where it's fun to go to work every day. Nobody wants to work in a salon where there's gossip and pettiness that runs rampant in most salons today. Tip number three, a willingness to learn. Does this person really have an open mind to learning? Or are they going to be looking for excuses to fail? Will this person be willing to adapt to your salon's quality control standards, your salon's training program? I'm always looking for people that want to learn. They're easier to train and develop. After all, I'm going to be their mentor. So I always, I urge all of you to look for people that really want to learn. Because as they grow in your salon, that's going to be very important because they're going to be learning all kinds of uh, new techniques, uh, things you'd like to share with them. Especially if you have a quality control standard program. The next thing I look for, tip number four, work history. How many salons has this individual worked in? If they got a history of going from salon to salon to salon, that should raise a red flag. And you've got to delve a little bit deeper and find out the reasons. Ask if they can call their former employer. If they're just out of beauty school, call the teachers up. Get their opinions. This is very important that you really look beyond that individual just sitting in that chair. you got to check their work history, references, etc. Remember, you're trying to add to your championship team. One of the mistakes we made in the beauty profession, our standards are so low. Yes, it's hard when you hire new people, but if you build that reputation that you're an astute businessman or businesswoman, that you hire nothing but the best, everyone benefits. The next tip that I like to offer you, are they hungry? Oh, I love to hire hungry people. People that really need a job, especially in today's economy where there's so much unemployment. It gives me great satisfaction when I hire someone, new talent, and I see it's like a flower blooming. It's a wonderful skill. So I look for committed people. Do they really need a job? Or is it just a little sideline? We're very serious. We're all committed professionals in our salon. So I have to hire committed people that truly want to grow. The next thing I would look for, do they have any advanced training? Are they really trying to be the best? Have they taken any advanced classes? aside from their standard education. 
Are they willing to adapt to your philosophy, your goals, your, your vision? Will they be a valuable member to your team? Because it's very important that you're all compatible in that salon. We got all kinds of obstacles in the beauty profession today. We have to unite as professionals and take this profession to the next level. And we're going to do it salon by salon by salon. This is a great profession, my friends. It's up to us to take it to the next level. So make sure you hire people that truly want to learn. And last but not least, I would urge you to bring in a model, maybe if I always have them bring in a, a man or in a woman. I'm looking for potential. I'm, I'm going to retrain them anyway. I'm looking for potential. Are they really serious? Do they pick out good models? That's another tip. So I hope I've been able to give you a few guidelines. For more information on how to hire people, I wrote a whole chapter on staff development. It's all in my book, Creating Your Salon. Go to my website, just click it on, you can see all the contents. Because it's critical that you hire the same, the right people, because we've got to grow, we've got to set high standards, we've got to share the same values, the same goals as a team. Because when there's no team, no teamwork in your salon, you're going to just go around in circles and circles and circles. Let's create that demand as a team and raise prices. I hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you soon.